What is going on, Minties? This is the Uncanny Omar and my Uncanny Family. Yeah! Today, Yay. these lovely people that I live with are going to help me give you all some suggestions for purchasing comic books for kids. We have the holidays coming up, and I've gotten a lot of questions, a lot of emails and comments asking, you know, I have a niece, a nephew, a son, a daughter, uh, you know, or, or a student that wants to get into comic books. So, we hope we can help you all out with this episode. Stay tuned. Welcome back, Mentees. My husband and I were avid comic book readers as children, and we still are today. And so we love to impart that um, passion to our children as well. Me, I read a lot of Spider-Man when I was in middle school, and I had a crush on him. I also uh, picked up a few X-Men, not nearly as extensive a collection as the Uncanny Omar. But I, I liked getting ones with Thank Wolverine you. and Jubilee as like the, what an the odd focus. Pairing. That's a father-daughter <laughs> team that you liked, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Lone Wolf and Cub, Wolverine yeah. and Jubilee style. I Yeah, I read comic books since I was five years old and marrying somebody that read comic books as a kid I was like surely our kids are going to get in the not the only reason why not the only reason why surely our kids are gonna love him so when Lydia was born Lydia is now 10 Alicia is 8 so keep that in mind when talking about some of these books when Lydia was born I tried to do the fatherly thing and my wife was like read to your daughter I'm like awesome I will <laughs> These books are amazing, <laughs> but she was not ready for apparently X Men Extinction X Agenda. Uh, uh, maybe or you should have read the fear, such a baby. Fear of the Reaper. So she was not ready for that. So what I did do though, what I found out was if I read books like this to her, this is Hilda and the Troll and Thumbelina. I like this book. It introduced her to just like these giant pictures um, in this comic book style because that's what I was trying to do. Sequential art. That's what I was going for. Now, and we did the same thing with Alicia and then Thumbelina. I love it when you use correct terminology. What? English is my second language. <laughs> and then when we use Thumbelina, I used it as a way to like a gateway to manga and anime. Like, oh, they look different. They have big eyes. So They're then kawaii. we kawaii. Uh, yeah, now they know what kawaii, kawaii. is. Kawaii. There you go. Right. Uh, and then we read Baby Mouse. We have to actually meet the author Baby of this. Mouse. So Baby you know, Mouse was told me that. pretty pretty important to their growing up. But I think the book that for some reason did it for both of them, and I'll let both of you hold these up, are these little collections of Tiny Titans. Do you have a quiz, Lydia? When she, Lydia this, was this, three years old, this. she knew her Tiny Titans more than she knew her ABCs. And... I was just like, oh man, maybe she likes... So obviously she likes superhero comics, but they have to be in a cute way. So Alicia, you also like Tiny Titans, right? Mm -hmm. So this is one of our... All these are recommended, but you know, this was, this is the one that I remember sticking out like, man, I think our kids are going to like superheroes now. Yeah, so. I shook um, Art's About hands to start. Yeah. at the uh, convention. I said, thank you for, you know, creating these because my daughters really enjoy them. Yeah, these were and a lot Alicia, of fun. And Alicia, what do we do when we read them? We... We take turns reading. We take turns reading. That's right. Right? We, t we uh, pick a character and we stick with that character. Or sometimes you are selfish and you just keep reading the next panel. All right, all right, right. Save it for family therapy, please. That's not what this is about. So we started watching cartoons together. So she liked Transformers. Uh, we started watching Ninja Turtles, and IDW started publishing these books based on the cartoons. This is the Ninja Turtle one based on the CG cartoon. And then there's the Bumblebee Transformers, which we talked about. And now she's reading IDW Transformers. There's also, these bring back a lot of memories, My Little Pony and Adventure Time. Because she's been collecting My Little Pony since issue one. But these are the Adventures IDW, very colorful characters. Adventure Time based on the uh, animated series. Now, the next line we're going to talk about is the GN line. This is the graphic novel line from Marvel Comics. I think this is something that they've done really well because this is exactly geared for kids. If you look at the dimensions, they're a lot smaller than your average trade paperback. And DC is doing something similar, too. And so we have books like this. These are the ones that are based on the 90s cartoons of Spider-Man, X-Men, Hulk, um, Iron Man and their comic adaptations of that and then you have some of these that Miss Lydia has reviewed yes. on our channel 
And these, what would you say the age group of these would be? A little bit older? Like, you're 10 yeah. years old, but you were yeah. these for a while. So, what, teenage, young teenage, sure. young adults? Tweens, I don't know. Tweens. tweens. I don't even know what a tween tweens. is. Uh, it's 10, 11, and 12. 10, 10 11, 11, and 12. 12. That is so precise. Okay, it's so. It's double digit in between single digit and teenage like, digits. It's, <laughs> it's a twin. Sure. Okay, so tween. I think these are for just a little bit older uh, kids. But... Honestly, you know, I was reading that kind of stuff when I was probably Alicia's age, seven and eight. And then you have the Marvel verse stuff. This I think is really cool. These are I'll, actually these are I want to say these are twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. So it's a lot cheaper than a trade paperback and collects about twelve issues in each one. These are a little cheaper. That's than, a dollar an issue, Omar. Basic math. That's right. <laughs> Near my condition, you learn things. Yeah. Nine ninety nine for these. Um, these. I think are pretty interesting because they are character centric and they reprint different issues where the character appeared. So for some reason they've done Thanos. I thought that was pretty interesting. Because I can't babies. Yeah, but babies. I can't imagine a kid going, Man, I wanna learn more about the guy that yes. wiped out humanity. Uh, well, or half humans. I wanna like know more the, about Iron Man. This Look at like the ten plus movies that I could see. I could see Okay, that. so then then you have Iron Man, so you have uh, stories from the 60s, the 70s, the aughts, the early aughts, different kinds of artwork so kids can experience. You know, it's almost like a gateway to comics, right? Yeah. Like a gateway yeah, it's into... something to collect. Yeah, right. And it's I don't think... It has a lot of collective value. And I think by the time they get to be a 10, at least every parent's different, right? And every kid is different. But I think when they get to be around that age is when you can start really pushing the superhero stuff. Like, look, here's Spider-Man, here's uh, X-Men, here's Batman. Have at it, kid. And I'm sure they're going to choose something like Gwen Stacy. Well, it's okay. Hey, I disagree. You don't have to push it. That you push it. Yeah. I know, because you love superheroes and you want to share those with your children, but also offer... Um, independent comics or like the the Hilda wh what is that um, Hilda and the Troll yeah something that's like a uh, folk tale-ish I don't know if that oh is, absolutely but, yeah but you see I'm saying like um maybe that's not their thing like as I get older I'm more interested in uh, final fantasy <laughs> final <laughs> no that never goes away um more interested in Independent comics. So, okay, well, that's a good segue because the next book we're going to talk about is one that my daughter Lydia just Lydia. absorbed. This is a collective edition. Peace Peanuts. be gentle. Peanuts. It is my collection. It came out of my box set. So, this is uh, the Peanuts collection, the Charles Schultz stuff. This had a 20 volume hardcover set. It's also available in trade paperbacks. And for some reason, what was it about th this particular book that you read? I think I've read half of those books, and you read all 20 of them three times. No, twice. Twice. Sorry. You don't, you don't have to gloat about me. I don't even know what that word means. You're so smart. <laughs> but anyway, what uh, what was it about this stories? Because, I mean, they're comic book uh, newspaper strips, but what was it about the characters? What was it about the stories that really got you? I don't, like, I don't really know. Like, I just, I think I like the art. Mm -hmm. like, and I like how, like, there's, more, like, a set of characters that's not, like, what the heck is that? Like, like... Like, you know, simple, like, you know, it's not, like, really, like, oh, look, there's a 10,000 characters in one page. Man, now you have to, like, you know, find out the main characters. And and I like that, like, you know, it slowly progresses to more characters, but it's not like, okay, this issue, we're going to introduce 10 more new characters. So now kids can get even more confused. <laughs> and it's also, you're looking at four panels, right? Mm -hmm. Or three to four panels. Uh, sometimes eight panels, whatever. Lydia, when I was your age, I was obsessed with Calvin and Hobbes. I loved reading my books over and over. And yeah, we have Calvin the hardcover and collections, and we're yeah. Now they're starting to get old enough to read that. But you know what? They're not. That. They're not as readable because they're hardcover. What? Wrong. Do, do, do. The collected editions are where it's at. So this is another one that we highly recommend. <laughs> so speaking of DC, DC started publishing this line right DC here Inc. called DC Inc. And these I like that name. Are That's catchy. These are pretty interesting because they're original graphic novel stories told with, uh, you know, with kids in mind. Retelling origins, but retconning a lot of stuff. So you don't have to know anything about Mirror. As a matter of fact, uh, Wonder Maddie and Miss Lydia reviewed this first issue of Mira, or first volume of Mira. They've also done Under the Moon, which is the Catwoman story, that particular volume. 
which is pretty sad. <laughs> but I think that line is geared more towards kids, and just like the Marvel graphic novel line, these are a lot smaller than your average size trade paperbacks. So. Now, if superheroes aren't your thing, or, you know, sometimes kids are into anime, My Hero Academia, I'm sorry, that's just X-Men. You give him X-Men. sound like an old man. Old man yells at Cloud. <laughs> give him X-Men. But if, 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 if manga is more their thing, there's a lot of manga geared towards children. Now, Alicia, this is you. This, this, she loves this right here. This is Chewie's... Chewie. 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 <laughs> sorry. Cheese Sweet Home. This is from, uh, is it Kodansha? Or, no, Vertical Studios has been publishing those. And what is it about Cheese Sweet Home that you like? She's a cat. And, well, she's a kitten, and she. I just, just kidding. I just don't know, but I do like it so much. <laughs> All right, those are like similar is to my book reviews when it, I was it, a kid. She's awfully cute. Uh -huh. The art, her facial expressions, yeah. and are also what I because really like. she can talk. Unlike a lot of the other manga, this one's in color too, mm -hmm. too. And she can she can talk. The cat talks? Yeah, but uh, they can only hear her saying yeah, but... The humans? But they they actually had the words above her. Oh, so, so it translates saying. it. Okay. Yeah. There's manga based on the anime or vice versa. Like, this is uh, Baron the Cat Returns based on uh, uh, Whisper the Heart's character, the Baron. Mm -hmm. And Lydia read that. Mm -hmm. And you have to be careful, though when getting manga for children this looks like oh cute the promised neverland like peter pan no uh, flip through and check inside to see that the material is appropriate uh, well this does say older teen like I look at was, the rating i was looking <laughs> at the picture in the front and right I, so don't <laughs> i bought this for lydia for miss it lydia. gave me nightmares all right cute uh when she was six <laughs> years old i'm like oh that's cute she's a bunch of kids going to school she's going to school <laughs> There's a lot of violence in here, so yes, my wife is right. Just because it looks, what's the word again? Cute, kawaii, whatever. Kawaii. Kawaii. That one uh, <laughs> does not mean that it's for kids. But yeah, there's other stuff here. Uh, one of my favorite things that has come out recently or reprinted recently is this book by Dynamite. This is Earth. It's printed like a golden book, so it's the size mm -hmm. and dimensions look hard. It's got this uh, card, not cardboard, but uh, this hardback. But it's written by Garth Ennis, and it's about evolution. And all I can say, it's like, uh, like and the, love and self-sacrifice. And that, mm -hmm. thank you. It's a quick that read. A it's really cute. Art's a little weird. I don't. It's a little CG-ish, but or maybe computer-generated colors that would bother me. But it's like your baby's first Garth Ennis book. This is the guy that wrote <laughs> Hitman. You know, I love this stuff. Preacher and Punisher. But this is like, yeah, your baby's first. What? Garth Ennis book. Garth Ennis book. Um, my wife and I love going to conventions, and we love picking up independent comics from creators. So she got that for Alicia. It's called A Piggy's Tale. Mm -hmm. uh, Dar actually, Dark Horse sent us this, right? Extraordinary. That was which, my first book I reviewed. That was your first book you reviewed. So this is about a princess. So there's books, like comic books, just geared towards girls. Like this is Zeta, the space girl. More than there has ever been. Like, I remember growing up as a kid, I mean, it was, if you... We just watched that Simpsons episode where... Oh, uh, with uh, Lisa? Uh, oh my gosh, what's Bart's friend's name? He gets a girlfriend. Millhouse. And Millhouse, and they're up there, and he's like, Bart's like, you want to read some comics? And she said, do you have any comics for girls? And he was like, ugh. Well, I was trying to think, like, a stack like this back when I was their age was... No, I mean, it wasn't available. Really, in the last, I want to say... 10 years we've really had just this huge growth probably a little more like 15 but of just comic books geared towards children um you know girls and boys and then dynamite sent us robots and princesses because who doesn't want just a princess story but like also a robot story like the, the back, back is really cool you have this thanos looking guy yeah so these are really awesome there's um there are books you know based on historical characters like, this is the Spanish I version. I like the art in this one. But this is the Spanish, yeah, the Spanish mm -hmm. version of the Anne Frank Diary. And this is a, you know, it's a beautiful book. It's a, obviously, you know, a sad story, but I think it's a really cool way, you know, graphic novels. Are, and they've done that for quite a while. Like, I know in Japan, Japan. And they've done it for quite a while. So there's also 
comics based on video games. Like if your kids are into like video games. I like this one. I like this one too. Or if I your like wife is one. into video games. Can't pick it. I get this one. Can't pick it. No. <laughs> so this is Sonic. Archie Books had a whole line of Sonic that were really small mm -hmm. little books Those that they had for a long time. Now I believe the rights are to belong to IDW. Because as they get older, like I had no idea, Lydia, you even had this book. Real Friends? Where'd you get this? The Scholastic Book Fair? Yeah. Scholastic Book Fair. Uh, does have, like, Marvel does, Marvel Rising, like, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Like, the only way you can get that Marvel Rising book is to buy through the Scholastic. The Scholastic, uh, Scholastic. I was always poor Scholastic. as a kid, so I never bought any. I think my fifth grade teacher felt sorry for me and Aww. bought me a book one time. Oh, yeah, nowadays, if a kid doesn't get a book, they have to. They get one. Really? Like, for free. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alicia knows. Do you use the system? No, don't take that off, Omar. All right. Um, Lydia, what is, what is Real Friends about? Like, what it looks like just tween, tw what's the word again? Tween? Tweens. Tweens and drama? Tween. Is that, what is this about? Uh, it's basically about, like, uh, like, a girl and, like, you know, she's, um, like, just her parents kind of says, like, oh, she's a nerd, like that. She looks like a nerd? <laughs> Do her parents think she's a nerd? No. Um, yeah, and she's basically, like, um, it's about, like, how, like, her regressing, like, her problems with, like, you know, trying to, like, find friends and, like, you know, just drama. Drama. <laughs> so she feels like a nerd and she's trying to find friends who are true. Real well, friends. Well, kind of, like, um, like, she's not a nerd, but I just pointed that out. It's okay. Her parents. It's not a book review. We do those later. We uh, we've also done the Dark Horse also releases uh, releases <gasps> releases <laughs> thank you all releases the Courageous Princess uh, books again books uh, these are yeah. mainly like the... geared towards girls right I guess Courageous Princess. I but anybody it, can read them it's really nice binding that's a really nice uh, outward appearance am I using the correct terminology binding yeah look at you yeah it's binding. sewn binding it, it's um. The curvature, I like that. The curvature, the eye. The eye, oh. On the ribbon. Look at you. You're, you're, <laughs> now, girls, we learned something today. You know, watch some of my eye. videos. It's got this <laughs> anime-ish look to it, but the, you like these, right? Oh. So what's the Courageous Princess about? This is basically about a girl. Her name is Mary Rose, I think. Yeah, so. Mary Rose? I think. Okay. Rose. No, it's okay. Yeah, oh, wait, no, not... Rosemary. Rosemary. It's angry. Let me tell you how I used to do my book reports. I would write the back ah! of the book. When I was a kid. All right. So, but like I said, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with just, I think at this age, superhero comics are great. Like, Lydia, you love Miss Marvel. Like, she read the first omnibus of Miss Marvel, and she was asking me, where's the mm -hmm. second omnibus? And I had to tell her, that's not the way that Omniboo work. They get printed in Omniboo. in certain orders. That's so the plural of omnibus. Mm -hmm. We've gone over to this. Um, they get printed in certain orders, and we have to wait for it. And she's like, oh. So, I, you know, we'd be getting the, the new run. Which she'll be reviewing. And then this I one's geared towards this. kids, but I love this book. This is Dustin Wynn. And uh That's cute. It's Batman, Little Gotham. So Dustin Wynn, he, he had done a run on Detective Comics. He's drawn many <laughs> comic see, books. And this see. is his Oh, style. I love it. It's this is his style the when painted he, style? Yeah. He's right now he's doing Descender and S Ascender. But he has this cute little chibi size uh, art style for this particular comic. So this one's a this one I really recommend, and I cannot not talk about this even though my kids have not read this. My wife read the Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck. I read three fourths. Three fourths. But these stories are wonderful. <laughs> yes, for they are. Any age, they're Don Roses, Uncle Scrooge, and Donald Duck, and Carl Barks are wonderful too. Carl Barks are great, but I think for some reason I got more out of these than I did Carl Barks. And you know, Carl Barks stories. 50s, 60s, you know, this is written in the 90s and then early 90s, late late 80s, early 90s, and I don't know, I, it, it just hit me and I'm like, oh, I get it, I get why people love doc comic books, they are wonderful, and the detail on them, and it's about adventure, you know, what kid doesn't want to read about that? Now, before we wrap this up, though, th these are just some of our suggestions, um, a lot of these, most of these are still in print, and there's different uh, formats you can get them in. Uh, what are, what are your all's favorite books that you read out of Tiny all the stuff? Tiny Titans, really? What about you, Alicia? My favorite one, Cheese Sweet Home. I figured that. Mm. Tiny it's... Titans. Oh yeah, that brings back memories of me doing Raven's voice and Robin's voice. Cause you didn't even like doing voices. You wanted me to do it. What about you, Astonishing Melanie? 
Hmm. Didn't think I was going to ask you, did you? Hmm. Um, I really did enjoy reading Tiny Titans with Alicia. And we still do every once in a while. Uh, I enjoy taking turns doing the voices and reading the panels. Um, as for me, I think I'm going to stick with X-Men. No, X-Men is great. Uh, I think these are wonderful. This is a wonderful way to get kids to start reading these comics. Because at one point, they're going to be like, hey, where's issue 13? Well, kiddo, let me introduce you to the world of trade paperbacks and omnibuses. And that is how and you, you get open the curtain. And let me show you the wonder of wonders. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, these, these are just some of our ideas. There's plenty more out there. There's a lot of manga. There's a lot of comic books. Let us know in the comments down below what books you recommend. Uh, Miss Lydia has been reviewing kids comics for our channel for a, a couple of months now. Um, so if you want to check some of those reviews out, please uh, click on the playlist. I think they're under comic reviews. Everybody, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. Um, most of these books you can probably find from our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com. Your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. Cheap Graphic Novels Black Friday sale is continuing all through December, so there's still time to save up to 95% off thousands of books. Additional books will be added throughout the month, so be sure to check back often and stay tuned to CGN on social media to be the first to know when the new books have been added to the sale. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And you can also find us on Patreon and Redbubble where you can get these cool logos on t-shirts. Now, if it's classy and cool, it must be near me! Pay for that one. Sorry. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs>